I found this on Craigslist for zero dollars. I'm selling it for 200 to a man by the name of George. I'll spruce it up a little bit for George. Cause he's getting hosed. I use stock Weber pictures. So he's like, can I see pictures of the actual grill? He's asking about flavor bars, you know? I mean, he obviously knows his grills. But you know, here's the deal. He's not gonna drive all the way here just to say no. And if he does, who gives a shit? I'll just keep it till it's smothered. It. Well, on Craigslist, you never know who's there. You never know who's, who's showing up at your door. Could be a guy who's never got a speeding ticket or laid a hand on his wife, or it could be a complete asshole. This is what I keep around with me in case Shit ever gets weird. Right here, my man. This here is what we like to call Jim Bowie knife. Okay? Weighted perfectly. It's a killer machine. I've never had to use it. That doesn't mean I won't. Got what I'm gonna dupe them with is I got some high heat paint. In the high heat paint, I'm gonna paint this shit. See that? That's not a real selling point right there. But what we're gonna do is clean them up within reason and then paint them. Uh, I usually use a painting blanket. This one will do. Hmm. Hmm. I need to paint on something. I'm not sure what. I'll tell you what we can do right here. I'm going to move these. Because I don't think anybody's married to this. What you want to do is you want to space them evenly. Get your full coverage. Man, it smells terrible over here. High heat. Excellent product. Give it a good old shake. Give it a good one. Look at that. All that rust should go away. It's almost too easy. I don't know if I should paint these. Mm, it. This is 100% profit. Margins are, margins are low on this one. Get it for free. But, you know, make it look nice. Spruce her up. Throw some lipstick on her. And if I was to open that up, I'd be like, yeah. It's not the best grill, but then again, I'm buying it off of Greg's list. I'm just hoping human meat wasn't cooked on it. But there you go. You got a free grill. A little bit dirty. Had it for a couple months. I'm going to turn around and sell it for 200 bucks. It's pretty much my main source of income. Uh, I'm an actor, but, you know, it's not exactly fitting the bill. Being an actor out here is uh, it's tough, you know. You, uh, you audition in, you're hoping that you're going to be a movie star, but in all actuality, you're probably going to be working at a furniture store selling stuff on Craigslist. See, the trick is, like the way I think of auditioning as well, right? So you want to clean it so it's presentable, but you don't want to clean it too good, just like you don't want to do be too prepared in an audition. You clean it up spick and span, he's going to be like, this is the absolute best it's going to get. So you don't want to do that. Leave it a little dirty. Leave a little bit left in the tank. It's a skill. You know, you want to prepare, but not prepare enough. I do a lot of it just by procrastinating, mostly. Never go in with your lines, because then they're like, okay, you know, this guy's had the lines. He, he's prepared. You go in, like, you know, I don't have my lines, and I didn't shave. I don't really dress the part, but I'm here. You know you've been rehearsing, but they don't know. They think, hey, this guy came in here half-cocked and still wrecked it. Now, I gotta be honest, I don't know if that technique pays off because I haven't booked anything. <laughs> <laughs>